بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ٹو ڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین کوئکلی سیٹ اپ یور ای ایم آر کلسٹر ان اے ڈبلو ایس بائی یوزنگ دا ٹیرا فارم سو وٹ آئی ڈن آئی میڈ مائی کوڈ اویلیبل ان دا پبلک ریپوزیٹری آلسو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر دس لنک ود یو گائز سو لیٹس بگن لیٹ می اوپن دا ٹرمینل Uh, this is the directory where I put my code. So uh, let me cd into this particular directory. So if I go to the EMR section and uh, go to the environment, okay, go to the dev section. So uh, I'm going to uh, uh, apply the terraform command and i'm going to show you uh, the sources okay before terraform apply command i have to uh, apply the terraform in it uh, to initialize all the modules uh, in the meanwhile i'm going to uh, show that show you that uh, we don't have to uh, manually uh, spin up the emr cluster uh, by using terraform uh, all uh, this can be automated so uh, we are going to uh, spin this yammer cluster in oregon these are the tests i have done for uh, my code so mm, my code is um, up to date uh, with the terraform version 12.12 so i guess uh, I didn't check but it, I guess it is the latest Terraform version so let me also check the Terraform version I bought I think it's this dash version so yeah uh, okay I'm just a little bit behind but anyway this is the almost the latest Terraform version so new version is already available 12.13 uh, so this code is uh, the latest code and uh, up-to-date code so I'm going to uh, use the telephone apply command and it will create many sources uh, uh, with regard to the EMR uh, uh, telephone EMR requirement EMR is the elastic map reduce so instead of manually uh, do all the stuff you can simply uh, use this code and uh, spin up uh, your uh, EMR cluster so uh, while it is creating so all the policies and the security groups all this stuff is going to be created so uh, this is the stuff uh, we have IM section we have security section uh, this is the main TF uh, file in the module EMR module section so there are many sources uh, so uh, let me show you guys the uh, TFR files where you can uh, give your parameters according to your requirement and you can set this cluster in any environment whether it is dev or uh, your production environment so if I click on this and just refresh uh, this page you will see a new uh, EMR cluster is set up so uh, for this demo I'm using the spark app and as far as the uh, code I have talked about is that um, if we go to the uh, um, yeah if you open the main TF section and TFR files so uh, I will show you guys uh, what we are doing here and it will be up and ready in few moments so this is the code guys um, uh, these are the parameters you can uh, you can give in your TFR file. You can give the name of uh, uh, 
uh, you can select any region you want uh, this is a subnet id these are the optional fields you can see on the terraform uh, uh, eml section let me show you terraform documentation for emr uh, this is the configuration and some of the parameters you can uh, see from this section so if i go to the controller subnet section and so see this subnet id is optional i mean uh, if you want to give it you can give or it will automatically fix up from the vpc id uh, by the way i am using the private subnet id so for that um, extra service security group uh, needs to be added if uh, let me show you that as well we type the private here private oops private yeah. see uh, service access uh, security group is needed for uh, this uh, uh, EMR cluster anyway these are the parameters you can set here according to your needs and requirement and region so uh, many of you guys already using my terraform code so in the t in the uh, in the module main section uh, so it is all uh, automated and just you have to give uh, some parameters with regard to the master instance and all the stuff here so uh, that's it uh, guys hopefully um, you uh, like my video and it is just still creating uh, usually take about 10 minutes so till then i'm going to pause the video and uh, once uh, it's done i will show you so guys um, our setup is ready and and just to give you guys uh, idea this uh, is just like uh, you know demo this is not my production environment so uh, this is to just uh, i mean show you guys how you can use the code and uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, i'm going to destroy this cluster so and uh, let me show you guys the ec2 instance as well if it is refresh it uh, you will see the running uh, part is going to be changed to uh, three okay so so you see uh, uh, let me uh, let me show you uh, this um, uh, this is the spark cluster and uh, this is the uh, these are the EC2 instance uh, which we have uh, asked for the deployment and okay so so I'm going to even destroy the cluster I'm going to use the auto remove command so it, it is not going to process so terraform destroy dash auto auto approve So uh, by uh, using this command, so our uh, infrastructure is going to be destroyed. So uh, if I uh, refresh this page, uh, you will see the this section um, in a while. So I still destroying the policies and destruction will be done in few seconds so let me refresh again so so you see terminating for terminating a user request so if I refresh this part as well so but this will be done later I mean uh, just not quickly So still uh, hanging on is destruction will take about I guess two to three minutes 
so anyway the purpose of this video is to show you guys uh, it's better to automate things rather than spin up manually and uh, use in your uh, dev and prod environment thank you guys uh, please like and share my video uh, have a nice day